Hello, so now we are supposed to have, as I said before, uh, the aspect of a robot once we have uh, imported all the meshes here, as you can see. Okay, so this is uh, a robot, but still it's not a robot, because we have no, uh, as remember that I explained before, we don't have any kind of geometry or pure geometry in order to uh, compute the collisions and so on. Meshes are not the best uh, way to uh, make uh, uh, objects respondable against collisions and also to implement the dynamics and so. So, in order to do that, what we are going to do is for each of the uh, components here, well, not each of them, but basically the robot base front, these arms here, so these Lego parts here we have uh, as a gripper, and also uh, for the wheels, left and right wheel, and also for this caster wheel here, okay, we need to uh, create pure geometries based on the shape of these uh, existing uh, objects, okay, and this is rather quite easy. Okay, so let's start by creating an object with the base. Okay, so in order to do that, what I suggest is you double click on here, you go for common properties, and then you check this object to be in second layer 2 visible, okay? And then you access here to the visibility layers and then you disable the first layer. So we get only this object here, okay? And now, once we have this object here, this is to make things clear, okay? So once we have this object here, the idea is to edit this mesh and create a cube from this mesh. So we can do that from here, so we have to go for uh, the shape edit mode and we can do that by clicking here and as you can see, this is a mesh, mesh is basically a set of triangles properly, let's say, uh, put together and this is a mesh, so the idea is if you click the shift uh, key and then click and select all the triangles of the mesh okay, all of them, we have an option that we can extract a cuboid from the selected shapes or the, the selected triangles. So we, if, you, if you click there once, important thing is that we set the object to be dynamic respondable and especially to be a pure shape, otherwise it will be a, a convex shape, okay, so we want to be a pure shape. And we click OK and we can exit from this mode Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, here it is, and that's the cuboid, okay? If you go for the cuboid and double click on the common properties, we are going to put this cuboid on the ninth, the ninth layer, okay? That one here, because we want pure objects to be invisible for the normal aspect of our simulation, but to be accessible whenever we invert now this will be our robot and whenever we invert we will have our cuboid here, okay? So the idea is that you do the same thing with, as I said, the wheels, the arms and the caster wheel, but for instance this shape here, let's do it with the uh, uh, left arm, okay? If we create a cuboid from that it will actually create a cuboid with this shape that you see here in white, okay? And we don't want that, we would like to create two separate parts here. So we can do that by again accessing to the edit shape mode and only selecting the ones which are, we click shift, only these ones are selected and we create one cuboid from that that's it, and that's the cuboid, and this is the cuboid, and we can put it on the other layer, so this is what we have created, and also we can do the same for the wheel, but in this case it's not a cuboid, it will be a cylinder. So this is the wheel, so I click shift, I select all of them, sorry, shift, I select all of them, yeah, and then I extract a cylinder. 
that's it. I exit this mode and then we have here the cylinder. Okay, so remember to rename uh, uh, with proper names like base, pure or whatever name you want to, to use, okay? And this cylinder will be visible again in the layer, the bottom layer, okay? And that's it, okay? Yeah, so you have to complete the steps in order to do the same thing with the other arm, with the other wheel and also with the caster wheel. The caster wheel again, it's a complex shape that we will, would like, sorry, we will, uh, let me focus on the caster wheel, uh, it will be uh, here, base for instance. The caster wheel we can create, especially with uh, this side here, this part here, we need to create three pure components, one here, one on the side and one on the other side and we have to create a cylinder for the, the actual caster wheel. Okay, thank you very much.